Just want to give you guys a quick look at this Toys Era 1 6 scale Joel Miller figure from the Last of Us HBO show. Quick look, because I don't really want to get into a whole review at the moment. Um, just kind of showing off his little bits of accessories and details quickly. There'll be other cooler, better reviews out there for sure. The metal uh, on a lot of the parts are die cast. So the sniper rifle barrel and a lot of the metal parts in the sniper rifle are die cast. The shovel's die cast. Gun is pretty sure just plastic for the most part. But you can remove that and take the bullet out. Got cans of meat here. It's pretty, pretty cool. And he's got these seamless arms, which seem to be that same system the Star Wars Hot Toys go for with their lightsabers to interchange the arms. But it's from those... The first versions because the hot toys mando luke is it's pretty easy to interchange his arms same with darth vader but anakin nope it's a pain in the ass uh this backpack you can store a lot of the accessories like the water bottle container this is ultra metal gonna get that out of here yeah very sloppy top 10 review here definitely top tier stuff but just trying to show off some quick quick little glances at it maybe i'll feel like doing a review but just want to show you some of the cooler stuff on him he has a really amazing articulated body underneath double jointed elbows and swivels butterfly joints double jointed knees they're ratchet clicks so they seem to be holding in pretty well um, and then the scope has amazing detail on it as well. Same with the watch, which is cracked. Uh, if I can get a focus on it. It's a bit hard. Yeah, I'm sure other cooler reviewers will definitely, uh, tackle this figure. Uh, if not, maybe I'll review him, but he's really amazing. I mean, the texturing, the detail. Uh, especially with the likeness on his face. That's definitely Pedro Pascal. Very excited to have this. And obviously you can, if you've seen the show, you know what scene I'm trying to replicate here with the pose. It's really cool. I've yet to get the backpack or any of the other stuff on him. Uh, yeah, the knife is also die cast, but it's not that sharp. But it's very, very cool. This comes with a flashlight as well. And then some bits of bacon or tack or uh, whatever the rationing meal stuff. Yeah, and then the hands are pretty soft to get the accessories in. Uh, this revolver has a really cool feature, if I can get it. Be very careful when you unbox this figure because minute I took this out it just flew and I had to reassemble it again this is a 10 out of 10 professional review I know what I'm doing see look at that it's pretty cool and you can hold it very well so yeah I would check this out on giant toys if they have it restocked uh, and if not uh, maybe some other third party websites but I'm not really sure where he's available right now because I know giant toy had him sold out but he might they might restock him and as you can see I have a Pedro Pedro thing going on here um, Ellie I did not pre-order her it would be cool to get her but she seems to have out of the two I think the better head sculpt even though this one is improved from the prototype pictures. It's really awesome. So yeah, 